When at an emergency scene, such as a house fire, paramedics and firefighters are charged with the responsibility of protecting lives and property. When possible, that includes helping pets, such as cats and dogs, that may have been trapped in a house fire. After a severe exposure to smoke, one of the best treatments for man or beast is high levels of oxygen. The Tampa Bay Kennel Club recently enhanced local firefighters' abilities to help pets suffering from smoke inhalation. Sitting here with Linda Lopez from the Tampa Bay Kennel Club and her friend Stoney. Linda, now these oxygen masks that you've just given the fire department, you say that they fit better. We have one of our EMTs coming over here with an oxygen cylinder and an adult mask. And this okay. is what we used to do in the past. If the dog had smoke inhalation, mm -hmm. stop. Stony, stop. the EMT would go ahead and use a people mask, as we'll call it, hold the mask close to the dog's snout and try to relax it. But we understand that your masks are even better. Show us what you have here. These masks will actually fit over the dog. Looks like we put it on here. We hand it back. Down to your oxygen. And then there's three sizes. This one obviously would be for a bigger dog. And this will fit right over the dog's snout. Hold still, sweetie. It's right over their snout. And the oh. uh, much easier to get that oxygen well, of course, into it, his yeah, face. Yeah, He's no, sorry. No. And, he, and that's fine because a dog that has had exposure to smoke is going to be much, much more sedate, right. much more calm than this. Why did you feel it was important to donate masks like this to the fire department? Well, because I don't, I, there are all kinds of budget constraints, obviously, and we have, I think almost every household has some kind of pet. And you all, using, as we've seen, using the a human mask is not, doesn't fit as well. This is a, a much better uh, thing for, the, for you all to have, and uh, we felt that it was a good public service. Tampa Fire Rescue Assistant Chief Nicholas Cicero agrees that these pet masks will be of great benefit. We'll make the situation uh, greatly improved. In the past, we had to revert to oxygen masks that were used that we would use on, uh, you know, victims from the fire, humans, and obviously they didn't fit. There were size limitations and contour limitations, and with these, it gives us a broader range of application and better use, so they can actually be revived in a more efficient manner. I believe this is really very nice because, once again, the EMTs and paramedics obviously at the fire scene are going to focus on the human lives first, first but absolutely. when we come across our furry friends, something like this can really help out. Well, for Spotlight Tampa, I'm Captain Bill Wade. Back to you in the studio.